also uh, the environment for Italians right after the Second World War was not a pleasant one in Canada. There were very few places where one could go and find friendly faces and friendly people other than those that came either from Italy but mainly from the same region. I attended St. Mary's school at uh, Queen and Bathurst. Didn't speak English, was a scared kid. The second year actually my uncle who had sponsored us moved to um, uh, the Parkdale area uh, close to Roncesvalles and I indeed went to St. Vincent de Paul, another Catholic school, at, uh, uh, for the 1952-53 the, the, the year. I was in grade 8 then and the, the, the teacher, Sister Adele, and I think she recommended me to St. Mike's uh, with a scholarship. And uh, a new world started. My um, home teacher was Father Bauer, Lefty Bauer, a legend in, in, uh, you know, in the hockey world, uh, but also a great teacher and a man of uh, great compassion and I think uh, humanity. I think it's, it's appropriate to, to say uh, that he was my guiding light. So St. Mike's provided for me a, a haven, a, a totally surprised that that was the case because I hadn't encountered that so far in this country. It provided me a safe place um, and uh, things went very well. I mean I did very well in school and when I announced after grade 10 that I was leaving uh, there was a lot of pressure not to leave but uh, the pressure to, to, to pay the bills, to pay the rent, uh, to buy food uh, was greater and uh, indeed uh, what uh, drove me to quitting school was the fact that uh, very often my mother and father would be crying. The life totally changed. It was one of uh, uh, help support the family that uh, uh, we were you know, res reasonably successful from then on and uh, that led of course to uh, uh, me marrying a wonderful lady that uh, produced two wonderful children our son Frank and our daughter Karen. Um, when Frank was at a uh, at, at the point in time when he had to choose what high school he would go to, there was no choice. There was absolutely no way that he would go anywhere else other than St. Mike's. I was very honored when in 2013 I was asked to, to give the, commence, the commencement speech which I did and hopefully it was useful to the students. But I was totally blown away when uh, I'd sat down and uh, I was called back up to the, to, uh, to the podium to uh, receive an honorary degree. Now that really touched me. The, um, the thing that I learned from Father Bauer and the other teachers was that uh, in life it's what you give more than what you get and that was really very important to me that's that's that was a, a message that came very strong and very early with uh, Father Bauer and it uh, it led me to uh, try to emulate what the guy did right in the in a sense that uh, uh, I've been involved in numerous many many organizations I was president of the Scouts in the greater Toronto region, as an example. Um, I, I chaired Harborfront Corporation as a volunteer to try to give back something. Uh, the Village Charities Organization uh, is you know, a huge organization that a group of us um, have been honored for you know, being the, uh, the, the founders and, and the pioneers. You, so it all comes back to the seeds that were planted. And I want to tell you a particular story that I think uh, also impacted my life greatly. When uh, Frank and Karen reached a point of sort of independence, they were 20, 21, uh, my wife Sheila uh, said to me 
um, I got to do something. She started to look at different alternatives. And uh, she came home one day and she said, uh, I decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Carter to work with Mother Teresa. Uh, that was the day. I went to visit her near the end of her stay. I said, first of all, I'm going to do something that I have a passion for, and that's hiking. And I went and did a high altitude hike in Tibet. And I had uh, an experience in the uh, um, Jokong Monastery in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet, and Jokong, the Jokong Monastery would be His Holiness's monastery if he was still there, that uh, with some great courage uh, passed a piece of paper to me by putting it in my hand that in effect was a, a plea for help to tell the world. So I went to see this young man that it was at the corner somewhere, just cowering is a good word. And I, had, I did something just because I was told not to do it, and that was I brought some pictures of the Dalai Lama with me. And that was, again, ordained probably, because right? I went to this young man. I looked in his eyes, like very quietly and secretly gave him a picture of the Dalai Lama, and a light shone on him. I mean, truly, it's just the moment that I will never forget. He took the picture, and he understood that his message was given to the right person, and he left. And as he was leaving, I said, I'll carry your message for the rest of my life. When uh, Prime Minister Mulroney phoned me up, and Mulroney, I guess, had heard about it, and he phoned me up and he invited me to go sit in the Senate. And I said to him, you've got to be kidding. And he, it, you know, I said, I'm going to burn up the world. And he said, you got enough money. Come and help me around the country. And I became a human rights activist pretty well all over the world. Some weeks back, I got a call from Father Thompson, and he um, informed me that I was being inducted to the Order of St. Michael's. I was certainly surprised. Um, did not expect it. So yeah, I was very surprised, but uh, I'm pleased to be here. Mm -hmm.